what uh, WC Bradley is doing is repurposing that warehouse mm -hmm. so that they can put a sound stage in there mm -hmm. as well as supporting other film projects that would be coming to the community. When they repurpose the building, what they have designated is an area within that building that we can move our Georgia Film Academy training program to that building. Right now, we're limited on the amount of space that we have, the days that we can teach because we're teaching it in the Carpenters building. All right, who's your grip, right? Yep. Yeah, that's all you, buddy. <laughs> It is exciting for me to know that our students are going to be in classroom, walk right out, and they can work on a set with a production that's ongoing. And I will tell you, our students have impressed the Georgia Film Academy and the sets where they've worked. They say our students stand head and shoulders above the others. They do not come entitled. They just want to work. And it's amazing as we run the demographic information for those graduates, those who literally have graduated from our program and are ready to be placed, 80% of them are working in the industry. Last day. Hey. That's what we're working on right now is building a workforce of between 200 and 250 uh, trained film uh, set production workers. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that we can compete with Atlanta for film productions to come here. We're looking at bringing 10 movies here in the next three years. Wow. We're uh, putting together uh, a film fund where we're going to raise $5 million to incentivize movies to come here. We'll have a grants program run out of the film office and in Peter's office. Mm -hmm. Uh, where if you want to bring your movie here, uh, you can apply for a grant, be very similar to what they do in Savannah with grants to filmmakers over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, our goal is to make Columbus the third film hub in the state, Atlanta, Savannah, and Columbus.